Liz here, and I'm finally back with another social emotional lesson for you. Last we left off, we were introduced to my friend Kelso the Frog. We talked about the difference between a small problem and a big problem, and he also showed us his cool wheel of choices. If you missed it, make sure to go back and watch those videos too. I promise, it's worth it. Now, I know it's been a while since we talked to my friend Kelso with COVID and a new baby. Hi, man. Things have been pretty busy, to say the least. But today, I really need to talk to him. Two of my friends are having a small problem, and I really need his help. Meet Ellie and meet Sally Jo. Sally Jo is ready to fill up her water bottle at school today. She'd waited a long time for her turn. But Ellie always wants to go first, so she cut right in front of her. She didn't even say excuse me or anything. This made Sally Jo really mad. Like, lid flipping mad. Sally Jo really wanted to push Ellie out of the way, but she remembers that lesson on circle of control, and she knows that she cannot control anyone else's body. So friends, what is she gonna do to solve the small problem? Any ideas? I have an idea. Maybe we can video call our friend Kelso. He always knows what to do when we're having a small problem. What do you guys think? Hi Liz, long time no talk. Oh Kelso, you have no idea. Things have been crazy busy around here, but we can talk about that later. Right now I have a small problem solving emergency. Okay. I'd be happy to help. What's going on? My friends Ellie and Sally Jo are having a small problem at the water fountain. Sally Jo was there first, but Ellie cut in front of her. And now Sally Jo's lid is about to flip and she doesn't know what to do. What would you do, Kelso? Hmm, okay. It sounds like Sally Jo has some options, but let's talk about my favorite one today. Walk away. Ooh. I like that one. Okay, let's have him try it. Oh, that was my spot! Yikes, that was interesting. Yeah, Liz, maybe we should explain to Sally Jo exactly what walking away should look like and sound like first. It's important to have a calm yet firm body when walking away. Keyword being to walk, not run. If you run away from a small problem, the other person can think that you're playing with them still. If you have to, you could say, I don't like this, or I'm walking away, or nothing at all. But running away screaming and crying might not keep the person from doing it again in the future. Okay, so the trick is to stay calm yet firm. All right, let's give Sally Jo one more try and see how she does. Wow, that was a big difference. It almost even seemed like Ellie was disappointed she didn't get a reaction out of Sally Jo. Maybe she'll stop cutting for good. That's the goal. Hey, got any other brain busters for me? If not, I gotta go pick up my dinner. It's my favorite, French flies and Diet Croke. Mmm. Uh, okay, Kelso, have fun with that. Thanks for all your help today. See you next time. Okay, friends, there you have it. Choosing to walk away can be a great way to solve a small problem. It's one of my favorites. Whether you're in the classroom, on the playground, or even at home, if somebody's bugging you, you have the power to walk away. Remember, you are in control of your body. Well, that's all for today. Remember to subscribe for more problem-solving adventures. Bye, friends.